Hi my friends, welcome to the channel English Professionally and I hope this is a great video key to all English grammar from beginner to advanced. Really, you just need to know it Yeah, if you're really serious about having an advanced level. So lots of students ask me what to start with and you just need to know these things to have a strong advanced level. Okay, my friends, let's start with tenses. Okay. So you see, if you look at the first column, you see tenses by group. And you see that you know you need to know four group of tenses. Simple tenses, present simple, past simple, future simple, continuous tenses, present continuous, past continuous, future continuous, perfect tenses. You see, it's again present, past and future perfect, and perfect continuous. Perfect continuous, present, past and future. Okay, and I'm sure that you need to start with simple tenses, with present simple like, uh, you know, I speak English quite regularly. Past simple, I went there. Future simple, I'll learn English with your help. Present continuous, I'm watching this video. Past continuous, I was learning English all day. Future continuous, I'll be showing better and better results. Perfect, present perfect. I've just visited this place. Past perfect, he said that he had learned that rule. Future perfect. We'll have finished this project by next year. Perfect continuous. I've been learning English for about two years. Past perfect continuous. When I came home, he had been using the internet for about two hours. And future perfect continuous. I've been watching this channel uh, for about uh, a year by next year. Okay, maybe it's a little bit difficult. But I'm sure that you need to start with simple tenses first. So simple, present simple, past simple, future simple. If you don't know English tenses, you know nothing, my friends. Next. So you see that the second tricky, you know, subject is um, about prepositions. First, yeah, you see, you need to know different prepositions like in, on, at, for, with, from. For example, what's in the box? What's in the box? So in means inside. But you also need to remember different phrases such as in the morning, in the afternoon. So I have a question for you. What time do you usually get up in the morning? So maybe at 6 o'clock in the morning, maybe at 7 o'clock in the morning, who knows? On. So, it's on my desk. It's on my desk. Really, what's on my desk? Or, okay, just a second, wait. What's on my armchair? What's on my armchair? Okay, let me see it. You see? Just, uh, it's easy to understand what is it. Yeah? Or maybe you need to correct this sentence. Yes, it's easier to understand what it is, what it is, yeah, it's better to say it this way. So we see that our community is growing, it's upside down, so, yeah. So we were awarded, so it's our mutual achievement, I'm sure. It's our mutual achievement, so that uh, our community reached 100,000 subscribers. Okay, thanks my friend, yeah, for your sincere congratulations, thank you. Okay, good. So it's on. So it's on my desk. Yeah, so you see that this thing is on my desk now. On my desk. On means on the surface. But there are other uh, phrases like on Monday and Tuesday, at. So you also need to know when we use it. So at home. I'm at home now, right? I'm at home. I'm at work and so on. But we also use at with time. 
like at 6 o'clock in the morning, at 7 o'clock in the morning, and so on. Next, for, this is for you, this is for you, with the, I can do it with your help, from, where are you from, my friend, really, where are you from, you can say, I'm from India, I'm from India, okay, or I'm from the United States, okay, it's the first thing you need to know about prepositions, and you know, Lots of students know only this thing, unfortunately. Really, it's a pity. It's a real pity. But you need to know other things too. You see, number two, three, four, five, and six. Adjective and prepositions. You need to know different adjectives with prepositions. For example, I'm proud about or I'm proud of. I'm proud, we say, I'm proud of. I'm proud of this success. Or interested in or with. I'm interested in this subject, in. So, adjective with prepositions. Okay? Have a look. You know, at this video we have lots of videos about prepositions. Verb plus preposition. It's also a problem for many students. How will you say, it depends on me or it depends from me? We say, it depends on me, depend on. So, you need to know these verbs and adjectives. Noun plus preposition. Reason about or reason for. How will you say, what's the reason? about this answer or what's the reason for this answer we say reason for what's the reason for this answer good and you also need to know in addition to these combinations adjective plus preposition verb plus preposition noun plus preposition phrase the verbs with prepositions okay for example What's the difference between, you know, go on and go away? So, if I say, I'll go on learning English here, what does it mean? What does go on mean? It means to continue. So, go on means to continue, okay? So, you can say, I'll continue learning English here, or I'll go on learning English here. But, you know, the thing is that native speakers use lots of phrasal verbs, and you need to know them. And so, go away, I can say, my parents went away. It means they went to a distant place, maybe to another city or country. So, they went away, and they are away now. So, yeah, really, you need to know this thing, too. And last but not least, prepositional phrases. Prepositional phrases. Okay. For example, I'm in a hurry or I'm with a hurry. So, when we don't have time, we say, I need to hurry up or I'm in a hurry. Okay, one more thing. I did it on time or I did it about time. You say on time. I did it on time. Okay? So, if you look at the first two columns, first of all, you need to know tenses. Yeah? So, if you know these tenses, you'll be able to build simple sentences, simple structures, and more difficult structures if you use more difficult tenses. But I want to tell you the following. That you need to know, first of all, present past future simple, present past continuous, and present perfect. So, present past future simple, three tenses. Present continuous and past continuous, five tenses. Present perfect, six tenses. And present 
perfect continuous, present perfect continuous, seven tenses. As for the other tenses, I mean future continuous, past, uh, future perfect, or perfect continuous, present, uh, past perfect continuous, future perfect continuous, uh, you won't meet them so often, especially past perfect continuous, future perfect continuous, they are very rarely met and uh, future perfect and future perfect so basically you need to know just eight tenses out of these eight or eight, about eight tenses out of these 12 tenses but three I, I mean i mean but the first group is enough yeah for a start so if you want more if you want to have an intermediate level you need to, to know maybe eight tenses. If you need to know an advanced level, you need to know all these tenses and all these structures. Anyway, it's useful. If you have time, why not? Okay, if you look at prepositions, you can't ignore these lists. Adjectives, verbs, nouns, and phrasal verbs with prepositions. And also pay attention to prepositional phrases. Next, so modal verbs. So we often use them. So you need to learn modal verbs when we use them talking about the present, like you see must, can, could, should, may, might, would, have to, ought to, and past. These two ones and a little bit more. Okay, so must. I must improve my English. Can. I can speak English. Could. You could help me. It means that uh, you can help me. You can help me. So it's about probability. You could help me. So really, you could do it. Should. You should practice sport. So should means that it's a good idea for you. May and might. It means maybe. So you can say maybe it'll happen and you use future simple after maybe. Or you can use this structure. May or might plus verb. It may happen or it might happen. Would. I would do it. I would do it. It means that uh, it's possible. It's possible, so it's possible to do it, and why not? Why not? So it's a good idea. I would do it. I would do it. And we also remember the structure I would like, I would like, or I'd like. I'd like to do it. Have to. It's like must, but when we need to do something because of some factors, external factors. So, I have to get up very early. And ought to. It's like should, but it's more formal. So you need you need to because you need to you should or you ought to. You ought to wear so a uniform or you ought to so write this report. You ought to write this report. So it sounds formal, very formal. So it isn't so common, but anyway you need to know it. And modal verbs in the past. So you see, could. So I can, for example, learn English for hours. So I have enough time for it. Or I could learn English for hours. So it means that I had this time in the past. I could learn English for hours. Had to. It's about must, but in the past. So you can say, I must do this exercise or I had to do this exercise yesterday it's about the past so if you look at could, should, may, might, would so we also have their past forms yeah you see could, must, should, may, might, would plus have done done or the third form look I often hear I mean, I often hear it when students say, I should do it yesterday. Okay, listen to it one more time. 
I should do it yesterday. But it's incorrect. We can't say it. We need to say I should have done it yesterday. Because should in the past is should have done. Okay? Or could. You could have called her yesterday. You could have called her yesterday. It means that. So what's the difference be between you could call her yesterday and you could have called her yesterday? Could have called her yesterday it means it means that it didn't happen. So you could have called her yesterday. So it was a good idea for you to do it and it didn't happen. But if you say you could call her yesterday, so we don't know it happened or not. Really. Okay, good. So pay attention to model verbs. Next. Okay, of course you need to know tenses, prepositions, model verbs, but it isn't enough to have a strong intermediate and of course a strong advanced level. You see that you need to know some basic structures like have and has got. Really, what's the difference between I have a car and I have got a car? So we mostly hear have or has, but sometimes got, especially in British English. Then you also need to know the difference between such, so and such. Want to, would like, I like, there is, there are, imperative, be going. You also need to know that we often use be going to instead of future simple and conditional zero and conditional one or the first conditional. So you know that we don't need, so basically we don't use or, or we don't need a future simple after if and when talking about the future. For example, I'll do it if I'll have free time. No, I'll do it if I have free time. So we can't use, you know, future simple after if and when. Then let's and passive and passive voice. Passive voice and tag questions. So passive voice, so present simple, past simple and future simple. So if we're talking about advanced structures, you also need to know passive voice. You see passive voice. Okay, you see passive voice. You also need to know, but more difficult tenses. I mean, so continuous, present continuous, past continuous and perfect tenses for advanced structures. And really, what is the difference between intermediate and advanced level? So you need to lo you need to know more advanced structures. So you know a longer list. So verbs with infinitives or verb plus ing. Really, how will you say, "I finished to do it" or "I finished doing it"? So we say "finish doing." So I finished doing it. I enjoy to learn English. Or I enjoy learning English. Enjoy doing. Enjoy learning English. Okay, then have a look at indirect questions, indirect questions and more difficult conditionals. So the second conditional, the third conditional and mixed conditional. Then there are different elements of the second conditional and the third one. So then have a look at word formation. So unregular or irregular. So we say irregular. Unpossible or impossible, we say impossible. And more difficult structures such as uh, you see inversion, inversion when we have the opposite word order, and um, also phrasal verbs. So we have a great video, I hope you remember, on phrasal verbs to have a look at all these things. Okay, my friends, to sum up, start with basic things, start with tenses, learn more difficult tenses, pay attention. To prepositions, my friends, please don't ignore modal verbs. It's an essential part of English grammar. You also need to know basic structures to have a strong intermediate level. So the more structures, the better. And if you're really serious about having an advanced level, so you need to know more advanced structures. So you see them here. And my friends, thank you very much. I really hope that this video is extremely helpful. Okay, thank you very much. See you. Good luck. Bye.